One of the big issues in recent months has been the staffing crunch in hospitals right across the country. And we have another example this morning of showing just how bad it is. A hospital in the Toronto area shutting down because of staffing shortages. This is the Lake Ridge Health System temporarily closing its intensive care unit at Bowmanville Hospital, moving its patients to other hospitals. Megan Fitzpatrick is at one of those other hospitals. She's in Ajax, that hospital accepting transfers and Megan is there on the story live for us. Tell us about the situation, Megan. Yeah, well, that's right, Heather. Lake Ridge Health does operate several hospitals in this area of the province, east of Toronto, and uh, Bowmanville is one of them. Ajax Pickering is another. Oshawa is another one. And Lake Ridge Health did share the news yesterday that it's closing its intensive care unit at the Bowmanville Hospital and consolidating its critical care services with the hospital behind me and as well as the one in Oshawa. And they are saying this is due to, quote, significant staffing shortages. Part of that statement they put out yesterday says they recognize the impact of this temporary relocation on patients and their families and this was a decision that was not made lightly. They do say in the statement that they intend to reopen the intensive care unit in Bowmanville as soon as they can when staffing stabilizes and it is safe to do so Heather uh, but no no clues as to how long that might take. I'm told that the intensive care unit at the Bowman Ho Bowmanville Hospital consists of six beds, um, but Lake Ridge Health not confirming how many patients have actually been moved out of there and transferred to these other hospitals, citing uh, privacy for um, for those patients. And they are just uh, saying that they appreciate the patience and understanding from the community in this part of the province, Heather. And what is happening at other hospitals elsewhere in the province, Megan? Are we seeing this kind of situation heading into this long weekend? This is definitely a familiar story. Yes, we've been hearing of many other hospitals throughout the province for many weeks now who have had to close down maybe certain clinics or units within their hospitals for hours at a time or maybe sometimes uh, days at a time due to staffing shortages. Another example for, yes, this long weekend, Seaforth Community Hospital. That's a, a small hospital in the southwestern part of the province. They're closing their emergency room at 5 p.m. tonight, and it's not going to reopen until tomorrow morning. They're saying that paramedics will transfer, reroute any patients to other ERs that are open in the uh, in the area. Uh, but that's just another example of, of ERs that we've seen in under immense pressure in this province over the last few weeks. Uh, so plenty of examples of this. Um, some healthcare staff unions have been urging uh, Doug Ford and his government to take specific actions to address this ongoing staffing shortage, and the government does often respond with some of their actions like a $5,000 retention bonus for nurses, uh, tuition reimbursement programs to try and uh, attract people to the nursing profession and have them work in smaller communities because some of these smaller hospitals, Heather, in these smaller communities uh, are especially struggling with these staffing shortages and um, people in the healthcare field saying they're burnt out. Many people have left the field, resigned or retired, and so uh, a lot of work needs to be done very quickly, they're saying, to try and either bring people back into the profession or attract new people to it, as well as certifying internationally trained nurses, doctors, and other health care workers. Uh, so we'll keep on top of this story, but here from uh, the Ajax region, uh, quite an impact on the health care system with the closure of this intensive care unit in Bowmanville. Heather? Thanks for everything this morning, Megan. Appreciate it. Ajax, Ontario, the location, and Megan Fitzpatrick.